chat GPT is noticeably worse, especially GPT-4 since just a month ago. And I have proof in this video of how much worse it is. So we have a simple PDF document and it's about a car extension to November, I'm gonna zoom in here, November 26, 2023. Very simple PDF, few texts on the page. And I noticed using the advanced data analysis for GPT-4, you're able to upload files. So I just clicked, actually to show you how to do this, if you don't have this, in the bottom left corner, click your profile, settings and beta, click beta features, and that's an option right here, advanced data analysis, so you can turn it off or on, I have it on and turning it on opens up, click new chat. When you hover over GPT-4, you have the option for advanced data analysis. So before I go into what happened when I uploaded this file this time, I wanna show you a previous with GPT-4 where you can see the complete difference between the new version and the old version. You know, this chat GPT is supposed to be getting better, but I think it's getting worse. So let me search for it quickly here. So first I'm gonna compare a chat just about a week ago to the chat today. And then I wanna show you a month ago to today and show you the, the difference. So this is a week ago. I asked it to extract the contents of this PDF and it's the PDF I showed you right here. And in one simple work, it was able to tell me that the document has only one page. The letter appears to be a financial matter regarding extension requests, correct. It's approved for October 26th. Payments will resume as of November 26th, correct. Stop payment to the bank. Extension agreement, look at this, it says where to call or when to call the customer service and the phone number to call. So when one answer was able to completely dissect that PDF. Scrolling up to today, I asked it a simple question in the PDF, which date has the payment been extended to? And it couldn't find a date. For some reason it looked for this date format and then gave up. Then it asked me if it wants to proceed. So I said, yes, proceed. It tried again using this text extract and again, couldn't extract any of the text. So I told it to proceed one more time. It tried PDF Miner and then even said, sorry, it couldn't extract with PDF Miner. And it gave me a bunch of reasons why. It thinks that it contains an image. It does not contain an image. It asked me to provide a snippet. No, that's its job. And then asked me to provide another version. And again, I said, try another method, search for text. Now it started searching for keywords, doing a bit better. And then it got the answer wrong. So in the end, it even said that your payments will resume as of November 26th. It literally wrote the exact quote and then got the answer wrong when it's extended to. So I think this is a terrible job. This is a zero out of 10 answer. This is a lot worse than what it used to be. I think there's a good chance that OpenAI is dumbing down its AI to save on costs because it doesn't. this doesn't feel like GPT-4 to me. Now I wanna show you one more example of using advanced data analysis in the past to see what it used to do. So give me a second to find it. Okay, this is an example of an advanced data analysis chat that I had back in September. So I started the same thing, I uploaded a file, this time it was a zip file, but a web app I was trying to create, and I asked it some questions, I wanted to make some changes. And you notice the difference is, in the old advanced data analysis, it would do some work on the file, then it would tell itself to go further, do it again, then it would tell itself to go further, go further again, go further again, make some mistakes, fix itself, do this step, fix itself again, go to the next step. Look at this, in one chat, look how many times it did work using the code. Let's count this, I'll scroll up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times in one chat, it kept continuing. That's an amazing performance. And it was able to completely answer my question. We scroll back to today. It only works once before asking us to continue. It's trying to save on its own prompting, on its own workload. Look, once, ask me to tell it to proceed. Once again, asking me once again. It seems to me that's definitely been dumbed down, which is very disappointing because it's losing the power. We're going in the opposite direction. We should be moving forward. Here we go once again. And I know a lot of people have talked about this in forums. Has GPT-4 been getting worse? Let me know what you think down below. If you have any examples, I wanna hear from you. But from my experience, it's definitely been a bit worse. All right, that's it for now. Later.